after seeing this preliminary data it might be reasonable to make this claim people taking drug a need on an average 15 fewer hours to recover than people who are advocated drug b that is if you take drug a you would recover at least 15 hours faster than if you take drug b this is called as a claim that you are making based on the data this claim is called as hypothesis now that we have this hypothesis we can test it so this hypothesis we made us that people taking drug b recover 15 hours faster than people taking drug b this is the claim that we making how are we making this claim we are making this claim based on testing people taking random samples of people and testing them and finding out the results and plotting on the graph finding out the average and then making this hypothesis now that we had made this claim let us go to the next step we repeat this experiment what do we find from this experiment suppose we got this result and we calculate the means now and how is it possible initially when i tested when i repeated i am supposed to get the same results but now it is the reverse all right we see that on an average people taking drug a now needs 13 hours more hours than drug b longer time to recover now there can be various reasons for that do we normally expect this in drugs like this no we don't expect like this in fact it is the opposite of the original hypothesis which was 15 hours but it is also possible that all three people that took drug a in the second experiment have super stressful jobs and unhealthy lifestyles it is possible that all the three people whom you tested are highly healthy patients so you must be very careful about randomness of data it is also possible that all three people who took drug a in the second experiment have super stressful jobs and hence they are taking long time to recover and here if you see the people who took drug b were well rested and super healthy to begin with now there can be one more possibility the other possibility is that we mislabeled drug a as b and b as a so what we have to do is to validate this you need to repeat the experiment now we repeated the experiment what we got while repeating the experiment you got same opposite of the first experiment the second experiment was also opposite the third experiment was also opposite of i'm comparing with the first experiment because the claim that we made was the drug one was recovering people 15 hours faster than drug b and that is why i'm always going back to the first experiment because that is where we made a hypothesis claim and again we see the result totally backward from the preliminary experiment and totally backward from the hypothesis that was made so just that we don't make a mistake again again we repeat the experiment just we make sure that we didn't mislabel we pick the people randomly we didn't bias them with you know healthy people and unhealthy people and we got this reading and again these results were opposite of the original hypothesis so what this company did was it kept on repeating the experiment etc etc and every time they repeated the experiment we get the opposite result of what we originally got now what is the conclusion so we should say that the first hypothesis can be rejected or accepted so whatever claim that we made is rejected so after doing all these repeated experiments where we double check little step 
we can confidently reject this hypothesis that we came up after doing the preliminary experiment